Well, hey guys, it's been a long time since I put a video out. Uh, I've been extremely busy this summer. Uh, so I thought I'd just pass this one down to you. Uh, this is a slide off of my uh, new 1911 I got earlier this year. Uh, I was having some extractor problems uh, with it, and I actually found out that the uh, extractor in it was uh, actually short, so the hook wasn't going out far enough in catching the uh, rim of the casing. So I just replaced it. I didn't, I didn't send it back for that. Uh, then it came time to, you know, check it for tension and stuff like that. Some guys just put a case in there, wiggle it, you know, call it good. I like to do it a little bit more, uh, you know, to where I can see numbers and stuff like that, do with a gauge. Uh, Jack Weglin, he makes a product. Uh, one, you can bend the extractors with it and two, there's a, a you know, a checker for it that you can put in which is basically what this is uh, and you check it with the trigger pull gauge uh, so but I just made this out of wire and an old casing so the idea of this is you have to go in and make sure it stays flat on the uh, on the slide it right there uh, you want to put the whole center of the firing pin and then the other thing I do I'll zero out my trigger gauge here is I pull it uh, swiftly because I found pulling it slow gave me a lot of false readings so I'm gonna re zero here okay uh, we'll uh, get into here and just give it a tug like that you can see it came out at one pound 11 ounces and pretty much from what I can understand for this is a 45 is you're looking for 25 to 28 ounces which is like one pound nine ounces to one pound 12 ounces you get in that ballpark you're fine and you can do this several times it's just like uh, checking the trigger you'll get different numbers you just got to average it out so that's uh that's that unit right there so this i mean super low cost to make this thing uh i just started i hadn't you know, this is a once fired case, so it is virtually brand new. I just cut it right along the edge here to make sure you don't touch the sides like that. And uh, all I did after that was this just a piece of regular house wire. Uh, it's 14, it's a little thinner. And uh, I pulled the ground wire out of it. And uh, this, I just, uh, you know, I just soldered that on. Uh, all I had was an uh, electronic solder. That's fine. And just tack it on. Don't cover the hole. And then, uh, you know, just twist the loop on it and put a little bead of solder onto that. And you have a, uh, a free uh, tension gauge for your extractor. Uh, like I said, this way I can always go back and set it up. Uh, my buddies was acting up. And we, we went through it with this you know bent the extractor and uh now it's running good so there it is guys free tool so all right take care i'll catch you later